Welcome to our STEAM Tuesday event. Today we're going to be making cardboard sea creatures, so you can follow along if you weren't able to make our event Tuesday at the library. And this will be posted on our Facebook page and YouTube channel uh, for a few days afterwards. There are a few supplies that you'll need. Some cardboard tubes, uh, just the inside tubes for paper towel rolls or from toilet paper rolls. If it's a paper towel roll, just cut it in half. You only need about half of it. Paint, some yarn, a hole punch, scissors, a little bit of construction paper, a pen, pencil, marker, oh. and if you have some googly eyes, a little stick on adhesive of googly eyes, if you don't, just have a marker that you can draw a face with. Okay. I'm going to be showing you how to make two different creatures. One is an octopus and one is a squid, and they each take a couple different things. So we're going to start with the octopus. And you'll want to go ahead and pre-paint the tubes because the paint's going to take a little while to dry. So just paint them whatever color you like. And the reason you want to use kind of the paper towel tubes or the, car the toilet paper roll tubes is because you want them to be a little bit more pliable than like a craft roll tube because they're a little bit stiffer. So to start our octopus, we're just going to take a pair of scissors or have an adult help you with the scissors and just pick one end to be the bottom and then make a cut about an inch or two long. And then what you want to do is go on the opposite side, so just turn it around and make another cut about the same length. So what you've done is basically cut it in two. Now you don't. Scissors don't want to cut. There we go. So it looks like you've got two legs. But an octopus has eight tentacles. So to turn two into eight, you're just going to cut in two again. So turn it on its side. One more. And flip it over. Okay. So you see, now we've got four. So these, you just cut each one in half. Halfway up. Try to make sure they're all the same length. So now they're thin and they move. See, this is why you want the thinner cardboard. And if you want to make the legs longer, you can. Cut that up just a little bit. Some of mine didn't get as long. Okay. And then you can take a pencil and just roll the cardboard up around the pencil and hold it for a minute. Then pull the cardboard up and you've curled the leg. You just do that around each one. If you want them to be a little bit wider, you can use the marker so the curls are a little bit bigger. And last one. Oh no, part of his leg fell off. You can just stand it up. And you've got your octopus to stand up. So if you want to make the legs longer, you just make the cuts into the cardboard tube a little bit bigger. You can probably make it up to about halfway. Yeah, you can make it about halfway, uh, just depending on how long you want them to be. And if they're longer, you might want to try something wider, like the marker, and give it more of a curl. And then if you have something like googly eyes, these are adhesive. So you can just stick them on or use a little glue. And now he's got a little bit of a face. And you can add to it if you like. And you can just kind of sit in there. And you've got yourself a cardboard octopus. If you wanted to hang him, if you wanted to hang him from somewhere, you can just take like a hole punch and put a hole in the back, because I plan on hanging him later. If you just punch a hole, then you can put some string or yarn through it and hang him. And you've got a little hanging octopus. So that one's kind of on the, the easier side, once I glue his leg back together. He had a small accident. But you see, this is why I use the thinner tubes, because they're easier to curl. The heavier craft tubes are going to be too thick, and they won't curl as much. So that's our friend, the octopus. And if you make this one and want to share, you can bring them into the library or share, us on our, share them on our Facebook page. Our squid takes a little bit more. So it's still the same cardboard tube, pre-painted. But we're not going to cut many holes in this one. You'll need to cut eight pieces of yarn, whatever color you like, about 8 to 12 inches long. So if you just want to go with 12 inches, you just get a ruler out, lay the string out, and cut it at the end of the ruler. And then you'll cut two more that are about two or three inches long than those, longer than those. Because a squid has eight arms and two tentacles. So technically, while the octopus had eight, this is going to have ten pieces of yarn off of it. And the tentacles are longer than the arms. Okay. And this is where we'll use a hole punch. So you'll just pick which side is the top and which side is the bottom, and then punch holes. And you'll want ten of them total. And you'll want to go up a little further. You don't want to punch them right at the edge or they'll tear. Oh. 
Okay, let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so ten, kind of spaced out so you get them all around. You might need an adult's help with the hole punch, depending on how strong you are. Then just take a piece of the yarn or the string and fold it in half, and take the end that's folded in half and try to push it through one of the holes. Okay. And you pull it through, and you've got a little loop, and then you'll just take the cut end of the string through, pull it through, and now you've got an arm. Okay. A couple more. So you don't have to sew, and it doesn't require any glue. It just requires threading the yarn through a little bit. And if they're not exactly even, that's okay. I'm going to do four arms. You kind of do four where they're all the same length. So now he's got four, and then we're going to do one of the tentacles. So you'll just take the longer piece of yarn. Still fold it in half and thread it through. So you see how that one's a little bit longer than the others? Okay. Four more short ones. Short leg. We've got all our short legs attached. So we'll just take the last tentacle and thread the last long piece through. So now our squid has all his legs, and you see how the two are a little bit longer. And then squids usually have a top fin, so we're just going to cut a couple little slits at the top, only about half an inch long. Just make sure they're on opposite sides of each other. And then out of construction paper, kind of cut a triangle shape. If you want to try to curve it, you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can just take the two slits little slippy cut and slide your little cardboard triangle on the top. So now you've got the squid's head. If you want to make that a little bit more secure, you can put some glue around the edges. And then we're going to give it a face just like we did the octopus. A couple eyes on it. And again, if you don't have the googly eyes, you can just use a marker and draw a face. And there you've got a little cardboard tube squid. And again, like with the octopus, if you want to hang him just behind the back fin, Take your whole bunch and punch a hole or two and then thread some more yarn or string through it and you can hang him so his little arms dangle. So, hope you enjoy making your own little cardboard sea creatures. Again, if you want to share what yours look like with us, please feel free. Put some comments and pictures on our Facebook page so we can see what you've built if you weren't able to be with us on, the on Tuesday when we did these in the library. And we'll be back with another video about how to do mosaic snails in a couple weeks. Okay. Enjoy and have fun making your sea creatures.